Every cone represents a student or a child. Boy, really, this is a great picture right over here. The Sheriff's Office used forfeiture funds, and the uh, Louisville Police Department used their uh, DUI fine money. Okay, and how will this piece of equipment help students understand what drunk driving is like? It'll help educate them. They'll be able to operate the vehicle, and there's an impairment mode on the vehicle that when you put it in the impaired mode, the students still have control of the vehicle, but they will see how they can oversteer or understeer the vehicle and how they can lose control so fast if they're uh, under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. And in the practice here, the uh, Sydney wasn't even going that quick, that fast, right? No, the slow speed's four miles per hour, and the fastest is eight miles per hour. And the operator controls the speed. He has the gas pedal right there, so he has a gas pedal and a brake pedal. So he can control how fast he wants to go. But he's not controlling the motions, right? He's controlling the motions of the vehicle. The only thing the uh, transmitter will do, the transmitter will put him in the impairment mode. And uh, the, the transmitter operator will only put him impaired for about one or two seconds. And in that amount of time, as you saw, they oversteered or understeered and they lost control of the vehicle. And that is how they learn what it's like to drive impaired. And losing control of a vehicle can result in? It can result in property damage, injury, and no death. This machine was paid for by the criminals of Stark County. <laughs> so everybody knows that. This machine will uh, take two people on it, a passenger and a driver. What it does is the top speed is eight miles per hour. We have a uh, controller. That man that stands out here, or the woman that stands out here with the controller, they control when you have power to the machine. When we give you power to the machine, you have an accelerator pedal, you have a brake pedal, you have an emergency brake, you're in control of it. Small cones. The outside orange cones are the buffer zone. If you go past those, you've actually gone into what we consider a crowd or possibly some kid on a bicycle or something like that. That's our buffer safe zone, and that's what we don't want to go in. So eventually, each one of these small cones will have a child's name on it. So you understand how serious it can be if you get one of these small cones, it's like striking a child. Go. You were going pretty slow there, right? Yes, not not very fast at all. It was a, it was a very difficult thing to uh, to control when the when the drunken effects were added to the steering. It was uh, it was evident that I wasn't going to control the vehicle. And you weren't even going what five miles an hour? No, probably not. Just rolling along. Right, correct. It's a good illustration of what uh, what drunken driving is like. I think it make them more aware of what happens when they choose to drink and drive and what some of the consequences could be. And I think it's going to be a valuable tool for them to learn by.